In the previous video, we have created our custom inspector and refactored the code a bit so that we can run the procedural generation from the ed inspector from the edit mode. In this video, I would like to move those parameters for the random walk generation to a scriptable object so that we can have a way to save those parameters and to reuse them across different generators that uses the random walk generation. So what we will want to do is go to a scripts folder uh, and we are going to right click create a folder let's call it so or maybe data great and in here let's open this folder right click create a c sharp script and we are going to call it simple random walk so or data whatever you want let's open this script up in visual studio great Let's remove update and start, because this will be not a mono behavior, it will expand uh, inherit from scriptable objects. And this will allow us to create it through the create menu inside the inspector. To do this, we will need to add an attribute above the class. Let's add square brackets, create asset menu, open brackets, and we will need to call menu name. And let's set this parameter to be something like procedural content generation, so PCG slash, and let's call it simple random walk data. Now, to add a specific file name so we will not get confused if we have multiple scriptable objects, let's add before it a comma and before that file name. And let's add uh, quotation marks. In, the, in those quotation marks, let's type maybe simple random walk parameters and underscore and after that we will be able to type our preset name so that we know what parameters are those let's uh, save it and here we are going to put all the parameters for our random uh, our simple random walk which was public int it will be iterations let's set it to be 10 by default we can add another one walk length after comma and let's set it to be 10 finish this line and below let's create public bool let's call it start randomly each iteration and let's set it to be true by default and that's it for our scriptable object let's save it let's copy the name of it and we are going to open up the simple random walk generator i have it opened in visual studio and here we have those parameters exposed inside our class instead of it we are going to delete two of those and third we are going to create private uh, simple random walk so let's call it random walk parameters okay we are going to assign it through the inspector let's copy the name because we have some errors in our code so for run random walk, we are going to call our random walk parameters dot iterations, our random walk parameters dot walk length, and our random walk parameters dot start randomly each iteration. And this will allow us to swap those parameters and generate different dungeons using the simple random walk algorithm. Great, let's save our simple random walk dungeon generator. Now let's go back to Unity. Great. If we click in the hierarchy for our simple random walk generator, it will require us to create a simple random walk SO. So we can click in the data folder, right click, create, and at the top of it we should see PCG simple random walk data. And it should give us a default name. What we can do is let's call it big dungeon. And let's preset it to be 100 iterations, 100 walk length, and check the start randomly each iteration. Next, we can create another one of those, or actually we can Ctrl D to duplicate this one. Now select the copy and F2 to change the name, and let's rename it to be Island. And for this preset, I would like to set 100 for the iterations, 20 for the walk length, and uncheck the start randomly each iteration. And we can create another one, so right click create PCG simple random walk parameters. Let's call it small dungeon 
and let's set the parameters to be 20 iterations, 20 walk length, and make sure that the, it, the start randomly each iteration is set. So now, what we can do is select our simple random walk generator, select our random walk parameters, and select, for example, this big dungeon generated, and we have this setup. We can set it to be island, and we can create some kind of island looking uh, dungeon, or you can use it for a random map. And let's set it to be a small dungeon, and it should generate us something with uh, more uh, corridors. Uh, of course, it doesn't work always because it is a random walk algorithm, but in any case, it should create us a smaller dungeon that has a more tighter passes like this one here. Great! So it all works in the editor. We have this as a tool so that you can open up a tile palette and edit it, as well as run the generate dungeon from the play mode so you can generate it on the spot inside your game. Now the generated dungeons are usually a single room and we would like to create multiple rooms connected with corridors to create a bigger dungeon because right now this is probably a cavern. So what we will want to do is to create an algorithm that will create corridors for us. That's what we are going to tackle in the next video or maybe before that let's create a very simple wall generator algorithm that will generate us only one type of wall around the whole dungeon so that we can see it a bit better what we have created we are going to then implement the remaining algorithms and at the end we are going to tweak the wall generation so that it generates correct tiles at each different position of our walls so next up creating a very basic wall generation uh, system so see you in the next video